squad. What up, power washing, window washing squad? As promised, I tried to get, I tried to get on in that hour, and uh, I know most of you animals probably aren't gonna be awake to tune in for this, so so I'm not even gonna pay attention to. I'm not gonna pay attention to how many viewers we got because it is late. Sorry, I'm trying to get this set up so I can just chill, and not have to hold anything. That'll work. So, what was I saying? Yeah, I know it's I know it's late, and uh, if you guys are like working and stuff, it's you guys are probably hitting the hay by now because you got to be up early. Crack it down, make this money. I myself don't sleep much. I know everybody says that, but I really don't sleep much at all. Four hours is plenty for me. Um, dude, yeah, you know, I've just, I've kind of realized I got this thing. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can relate. I'm sure you can. I mean, if you're like an entrepreneur, I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to this. And uh, um, it's, it's like I got this this feeling inside of me where like I have to keep moving I have to keep doing something and I feel like any idle time or any like time relaxing or doing unproductive things I'm literally just wasting my life and it's insane like I feel like you know like celebrating like going to the bars or drinking or you know it's I always feel guilty because I'm not where I want to be in life so it's like what am I celebrating for does that make sense? So yeah, man. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. It's all about momentum. Just keep going, going, going. Positive. So, there was some things I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm going to be making a Twitter. I just kind of want to throw it out there that I'm making the Twitter. Because I haven't made it yet, so I can't even give you a link or anything. But I will be... Uh, sharing the link and I'll share it in all my videos and stuff and the, I guess the reason for that is I think it's way easier to communicate on a social media device like Twitter or something so hopefully it'll be a little more like of a resource um, we can communicate a little more one-on-one -on -one. Um, I can post like I can let you guys know when I'm gonna go live uh, or, or, or when a video is coming up or, or what's in the what's in the works you know so I think that's a great idea get get a Twitter or something um, what else did I want to talk about? So, yeah, I want to also want to get a Twitter because it kind of will weed some of this, some of the stuff out. I know I I don't got like a ton of subscribers or anything, but I've actually had like some. Lizzie, I told you I'm gonna go live for ten minutes. I'll be in in a minute. Okay. Right, like shit goes in one ear and out the other, but uh. I'm saying, damn it. Dude, I have like the attention span of a goldfish. If, I, if someone distracts me, I lose it. Um, yeah, it'll weed out, it'll weed out some of that. Uh, there's like a lot of people like with their own businesses and stuff trying to contact me and get me to buy shit. And I don't, I can't tell if they're trying to help or if they're trying to sell me shit, but whatever. Um, the employee thing. I've been having a lot of problems with employees and I, I like to, I don't like to share my issues I'm having just because no. I want people to feel bad for me or something. The reason I'm sharing these issues is because I want you guys to be aware of issues that are going to come up in your business. And you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident if I'm having an issue with something and if you guys are really new in business or haven't started a business yet and you're thinking about it that it's like kind of food for thought, you know, it's like, okay, this is something I should be aware of, this is gonna be an issue I have, you know, and start preparing for it now, because you can never prepare too early, you know? Um, so the employee thing, it's it's not as simple as just putting up an ad and asking people for help and getting help. Um, it's a grueling process of meeting people and it's awkward and I'm, I'm still trying to write down a script and, um, a script and like little bullet points of things to bring up during an interview and things to explain, you know, so I'm not just sitting there rambling and like pointing at things on the wall and stuff and um, trying to try to make it feel like they're about to start working at a legit place and a legit company because if it's too lenient and too laid back, 
then from the jump, they think this is just some joke of a business and some, some little side job hustle and they're not gonna take it seriously and they're gonna become your friend way too fast and that's, that's the issue I'm having. I'm, I'm too nice of a guy or something and people try to walk all over me and I'm not, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a pussy or anything, you know, people don't get away with it, but I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm lenient, I'm laid back, right? And, uh, you know, I'll tell someone when they're being bogus, but it's like we're, I become friends with people too easily. And it's, uh, it's kind of like parenting, I'm realizing. Uh, parenting, you don't want to be your kid's friend, you need to be their parent. You need to be their guidance. And it's kind of same with employees. You can't be their friend. You need to be their boss, you know. And then you can eventually develop a friendship. But if if I was here to make friends, I'd, I'd, you know, join a, you know, try to make friends. Like I'd post an ad like, hey, looking for friends. You know, <laughs> I don't know. But this isn't the place for friends. That's what I'm realizing. So <clears throat> we got that. Now something that. I really, 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 really strongly suggest, especially, you know, maybe you won't need it as soon as you start off, but um, once you start getting a little busier and you're actually working like multiple days out of the week and your phone's ringing while you're on the job, you're going to lose work if you don't answer your phone. There's no way around it. There's people who will call like three, three to five companies. They'll just keep calling until someone answers. And then when they answer, that's the company they go with. And I guarantee all your competition is not answering. If they're like small like you, they're not answering the phone. They're, they're waiting for voicemails and calling them back. So if you can jump the gun, you can answer the phone, you've already doing better than 90% of all the competition around you. So that's why answering the phone is such a strong, is such an important thing to me. Um, and what I've done to resolve this is I've hired an answering service. Now, if you guys are interested in this, the answering service is called The Phone Nanny. Uh, talk to Chris and let him know that I sent you his way. Um, he'll take good care of you. Um, it's way cheaper than you would imagine. I'm paying like, I think it's a hundred bucks a month. And so basically I have, and, and paying a hundred bucks a month and they will answer the phone 24 seven, 24 hours of the day, seven days a week, if you want them to. All you do is forward your number, which you can do from your phone. You just literally press three numbers and send. Um, you can forward your number to the number that they have. And now they answer, They have a program over there where they answer the phone. All these professional services, this is blank. And they got about a team of like seven people. So at any given chance, seven different people can answer the phone saying Wally's Professional Services, this is Linda, Wally, Wally's Professional Services, this is Chris, Wally, you know? So it's made, one, makes my company look large, and large and in charge, and two, I can have, it's not as critical for me to have someone answering the phone 24 seven, so I try, if I remember, to actually turn this off during my operating hours, so come 5 p.m., I try to remember to turn the forwarding off, I'm really bad at it. Um, and then at 7 a.m. I turn it back on. But if you had like a heating and air conditioning company, this would be genius because they have 24 seven emergency calls and these guys will answer the phone 100% guaranteed every single time. And they just collect the information and boom, all the work's done. All I have to do is I get notified that so-and-so called looking for an estimate through a text or through email, I mean. And I go do the estimate, boom. And that's what this is all about, you guys. This is what business is about, is creating like a fine-tuned machine where every single task, you try to, you try to notice every single task you're doing. So um, I noticed the task answering the phones. That's a job on its own. And it's not a high-paying job at all. It's a very low-paying job and it's not rewarding. And so I found a way to automate that part of my business. Phone is taken care of. And I did it in a very cheap and effective way. I don't have to pay some phone girl, you know, eight to 10 bucks an hour to answer phones during those hours, Monday through Friday, uh, nine, you know, eight or nine hours a day. I don't have to pay her hourly for that. I pay 
25 bucks a week for someone to answer the phone whenever I need it answered. And it'll be answered 100% of the time. So I'm really excited about this answering service. It's working out great. Um, let me take a look, see if anyone's commented anything. I think I'm done ranting for right now. What's up, man? Like the tips, details, some cars. This day and age, people have no work ethic. I plan on working by myself for a long time and it's because I'm sick of working for companies busting my ass. So, as far as KZ Collins detailing cars with your business, um, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on there, bro. If I was to do car detailing, I would, I would uh, start a whole other business, saying car detailing. One thing I found out is it's not about, it's not about the amount of services you offer. That's not what makes you busy. It's not what makes you more valuable. Companies want to hire someone who is an expert in the service they're looking for. So if you can be an expert in window cleaning and just window cleaning, and you know every single thing about window cleaning, they're gonna hire you over the guy that does window cleaning, lawn care, car detailing, gutter cleaning, prep, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's all about just focus, just diving hard in that one thing. Now I know I'm kind of a hypocrite because I offer three services, which kind of branch out and even more because you can power wash anything and each power washing thing is a different skill. Um, but yeah, I do window cleaning, gutter cleaning, power washing. So yeah, to sum that up, I do disagree with that. And I'm actually looking to do, I, I, I have an issue with my brand. I don't like my brand, Wally's Professional Services. One, because my name isn't even Wally. And uh, I actually named it after my father who had passed, just kind of like trying to do something in remembrance of him. And this was just the wrong way to try to remember him. Um, also, because if people ask where the business, where the name came from, I have to say, yeah, I named it after my father. And you don't think people care, but it instantly associates your company with something sad and that like psychologically does something. So my brand is not good all around and I know it. And maybe other people don't think that deep about it, but I do and I never will stop thinking about it. So something's, it's not gonna change. What's probably gonna, what I'm probably gonna do, what I might, I don't know. I don't know what my plan is. I'm, I'm thinking about starting a just roof cleaning business. And then we'll do like power, I really like the power washing stuff. Um, and then, I don't even know if I wanna comment on what Mike said. Cause Mike, I almost feel bad for you, man. I'm not even trying to be mean. Um, but it's not about, it's not this day and age, people have no work ethic. Uh, you just gotta, you know, you're just flat out wrong. I hate to tell you, but you are, you're flat out wrong. I plan on working by myself for a long time. So, Mike, what happens, what happens when you get sick and you break a leg or you, or your kidneys start failing or just old age catches up with you and you can't work? Now you have no income whatsoever. Everything's falling apart and the bills keep piling in and you're screwed. You're in the hospital for a month. And now your family has to scavenge. It's, it doesn't make sense. It, you know, self, being self-employed has its perks versus working for somebody else. But at least when you work with somebody else, at least a good job, you can have full benefits and health insurance and all that other stuff. Unless, of course, you set your self-employed business up to have all that stuff. Somehow, maybe you can. But why work your whole life? Why and 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 it's not even um, it's not even about a poor work ethic. It's I'd still be working if I ran a business. I'm creating something. I'm creating a box. You know, I'm creating a box where I put a dollar in the top and two come out the bottom, and it's it's hard work, and it's it's smart work. It's not you know working hard is not going to get you rich. It's it's working smart. You know. And uh, it's not about this day, you know, I've been having trouble with employees too, so believe me, I know, and, and I'm technically a millennial, and uh, 
you know, everyone wants to say millennials suck and they have no work ethic and nobody works. And the truth is you just have to find a way to adapt to this culture. So back, back then, I'm, I'm assuming in your day and age, people tended to find a really good job and they didn't leave. People didn't quit and go other places. They stayed with jobs for decades and, and multiple, super long time. And they, and they built a, a, you know, they had a, whatever, pension, retirement funds and, and, um, all sorts of benefits, you know, and it was just like a dream. It was just a dream package. It was get a job, stay loyal, and you will be take you'll 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 be comfortable the rest of your life, and you'll have money and everything will be good. Well, that whole system is falling apart. It's a broken system. I mean, there's like not even like social security money. Like it's all ran out. Like it's it was a broken system to begin with, and it it's all dried up. It's over with. Nothing's guaranteed. So. It's honestly terrifying if you ask me. I mean, what what are the options here? The only option is to create a large business where I'm making I'm making income such as like fifty thousand fifty thousand a month, a hundred thousand a month, two hundred thousand a month. I mean, these are the goals that I'm doing. These are the goals I have, and I'm and I'm working towards it. And it's it's sloppy. It's messy. It's it's tough, but it's is what I'm working for. And it's, I'm creating so many opportunities for my community and other people around me. And I'm helping people's families. Uh, I'm going to be create employment and really good employment, um, opportunities for, for my workers. I'm going to treat them extremely well. And the thing with millennials is we're not stupid. Like we know the system's broken. We know that this, the dream that people were taught or told about, in the past about retirement and having all this money when you retire and stuff it's not really true all that money is that you people are broke as hell and it doesn't it doesn't what millennials realize is it doesn't make sense to have a minimum wage i don't know why people are asking for a higher minimum wage the problem is you have say you're at mcdonald's working for $8 an hour or $10 an hour. And you're flipping burgers and you're badass and you're a super team leader. And then you got Jimmy over here who's snowed off his mind and he can barely remember to drop the fries at the right time. It's all he does all day is just drop fries in a fryer basket. And he's getting paid the same exact amount as you. And you're busting your ass. Millennials are like, uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Why am I busting my ass? So then everybody gets in a piss poor attitude and then the, then the whole company culture turns to why work hard when we can work slower and less effective and get paid more. If we're getting paid hourly, why bust our ass to make someone else richer and make everything work? So the way to attack this is offer your hourly rate and then create reward systems. So these employees that are doing extremely well and busting their ass get rewarded with a hundred dollar gift card or just a hundred bucks cash or gift cards to dinner to take their spouse out. So then they can be there eating dinner with their family and they can be like, wow, my boss did this. I love my job. My boss is so awesome. And then they are really gonna bust their ass for the next two months just because you threw them something extra and you show you appreciate them. That's all they need. But for whatever reason, it's like not heard of. Like, have you ever heard of like bosses giving people a hundred bucks just because they're doing good? No. So people just bust their ass and then they get salty that they're not getting raises and it's, it's a shit show, dude. So that's my take on that. Um, I wanted to go in on something else, but Hey, if you want, I can pre-interview for you. Let you know of good candidates. Hey, mom. <laughs> I forgot my mom and my brother found my channel. And I'm over here ranting. It's funny. Aw. My mom cares about me. Just find somebody you trust and is willing to show up. Responsible is better than skillful. Mm. Not so much when, uh. 
You gotta realize you're working with harsh chemicals, dude. It's, uh, it's terrifying for me to, like, I don't know. I'm a control freak. That's business. It's, um, kind of terrifying, you know, like, these chemicals could really F some shit up. They could really mess a house up, so you really gotta know what you're doing, but you just gotta train people. But yeah, man, so I think I talked what I wanna, talked about what I wanted to talk about. Um, anyone got any questions before I sign off here? They should give the grill people a bonus on their paycheck. Who's the grill people? Oh, I'm talking about my analogy or whatever. Yeah, you know, I just, I remember, I, I remember when I was working, I just, I just had to work over the winter. Um, I just had to work last winter. I just had to work last winter doing uh, garbage truck, or driving a garbage truck. And dude, I busted my ass. And every time I'd come back, the guys would always be like, pat me on the man, you killed it out there, you're so, thanks so much for helping me out, I would have still been out there if you didn't come and help me finish my route, my damn truck broke down, and blah, 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 and you're awesome, dude, and like, cool, you know, I'm glad you're happy, but that's what it's about, we're a team player, and, and, we're, and everyone wants to get home to their families, you know, I'd hope someone did the same for me, where's the boss at, though, does he want to give me like an extra hundred bucks, because I, I essentially saved him some time, some some pain, um, some 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 you know maybe like the employee would have been pissed off at him and you know it's people just need to be rewarded, man, and, and more, than, more than like an employee of the month plaque on the on the wall. I, I I understand how to make how to get good employees and how to treat them well. It's just for right now, it's just getting the employee there, and getting them. But I actually have a good plan, um, a good plan in action. I actually have a good guy, a really good guy who's going to be starting soon. Um, he's he, re he was referred to me from someone else who I trust a lot, who's also a good person. So I'm sure this guy will be good. And he actually just got in a really screwed up situation. He got hit by a drunk driver and his car is gone and he's lost his job because of it. And... So he lives nearby, probably like five minutes away. So I'll just be picking him up before work. It'll work out perfect. I'm sure he'll be fine. It'll help him get on his feet. And then maybe when he gets on his feet, he'll stick around. Hey man, you're doing a great job, bro. You make good videos, very informative. And I hope you make it big man, million dollar business. Appreciate that, Mike. I hope you, uh, I hope you don't work yourself to death, man. There's a lot more than work. A lot more to life than work. And, uh, yeah. You know, I get what you're saying, though, because I take a lot of pride in my work, and I work very hard, and I actually enjoy working, but it's it's almost selfish in my eyes to just hold this all to myself and just, you know, I was actually thinking about that. I was like, would it really be that bad just to do this, just to do it, just me, just, this, just make a one-man power washing truck and just go power wash all day? And make a thousand bucks a day. What's so bad about that? But it's not. That's not the goal, man. It's like. It's. I got way more potential than that. I just know I do, and uh, I can offer the community more. You know, someone else in my community could do that. Multiple people in my community could do what I'm doing, and we could be doing twenty thousand a week instead of five thousand a week. And then I'm putting food on the tables of their families. I'm, I'm offering them employment and, and a good culture. And I'm trying to offer way more than just a business and a get rich quick scheme. I'm trying to like literally change the community and change the lives of people for the better and like make a difference, like do something on this earth before my time runs out, you know, because it's, it's precious, man. It's a precious time. I just saw a kid post on Facebook about his dad tragically passing just recently. And it's like, dude, 
you know, I commented, I was like, you know, I'm sorry, dude, but, or I said, sorry for your loss. I hope you created a lot of good memories to remember him by. Life is very precious. Just telling an employee that you appreciate them is way more important than giving them money. I mean, maybe, maybe that's what works for you. Maybe you, you that's another thing, you have to figure out what your employee likes. So maybe for you, it's, it's public recognition. So it would mean the world to you if uh, you guys are having a company meeting and the boss calls your name out and says, Scott, you did a hell of a job. Everyone give him a round of applause. You are a badass, boop, boop, boop. Maybe that would mean way more to you than a hundred bucks. But then maybe there's another guy on your team who uh, just got a crazy expensive water bill because his water line busted and now you know he's living paycheck to paycheck and his, he needs a hundred bucks. And that hundred bucks just helped him out or he needed, he needed groceries. You know what I mean? It just, it's different for everybody. So, recognizing ex excellence is awesome. It means so much to the hard worker. I agree with you. Thanks, Mom. There was a survey done, and they found out that people don't quit jobs because of pay, but instead of because they felt unappreciated. 100%. I agree, Scott. I agree. I agree. That, I agree. It's not. Um, it's not about the pay. It's. But what I'm trying to say is, I see what you're saying. Maybe I should have used. What I'm saying is, there's tons of different ways to show appreciation. Like I was just trying to say is. It's, it's uh, public recognition. It's pulling, maybe some, pulling someone aside privately and shaking their hand, looking them right in the eye and saying, hey, I see what you're doing, keep it up. Maybe it's throwing them a little extra money because they feel like they, they're worth more than that, than what they're getting paid. Maybe it's buying a gift card for dinner so they can take their family out and do something fun. You just have to figure it out. But it has to be recognized. It has to be appreciated. So that's interesting that there's a survey because I agree. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus or raise helps a lot. It's uh, but it's never enough though with the raise. It's you know like if you get. If you start getting paid like 20, if you if you want 20 an hour and you start getting paid 20 an hour, after a couple years, you're going to be like, I need some more. I need some more. I need some more. So, but, you know, as long as you're feeling appreciated, then probably not. If you're feeling appreciated, then you'll be happy with your pay. But if you feel like you're being unappreciated and you're just working and you're doing really, really well and nobody's telling you nothing and you're like you know what I need to be being paid more for this because this is bullshit so all right guys it's late I have to be up at like six in the morning I got a jam thanks for tuning in everybody thanks for tuning in mom and my brother in case you guys don't know the guy the people with the last name Lang are family to me they found that I have a YouTube channel so now I can't talk about all my family problems on here. No, I'm just kidding. I never did that. Much love, everybody. Good night.